to create this design, I'm going to add a rounded cube with eight subdivisions. Then go to the edit mode, select these bottom words and delete them. Then select these words and press F to fill the gap. After that, I'm going to add one more rounded cube and this time I will go with four subdivision for the arc. Then scale down this rounded cube and move it like this along the Z axis. And then turn on the wireframe mode and now change the transform pivot point to 3D cursor and rotate it into 30 degree angle in this way and give the proper position to it. Then move it along the normal Z axis and adjust its position. Then select both the objects and use the boolean operation union. Then apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. Then go to the edit mode, select everything and take the symmetry along the X axis. Turn on the X ray mode and delete the one half of the model. Now create the right topology here. Select these edges and dissolve them. Then select these words and merge. At last, try to create the topology. Then select these words and press M merge at last. Then here also select these words, press M merge at last. Then dissolve this edge with the control X. Then select these words, press M merge at last. And same thing here also. Select these words and connect vertex pair. Then dissolve these edges in this way. Then select this H and double tap G for the H slide. Adjust its position to maintain the proper distance around that boolean part. Then here you can select these words and make a triangle. We will keep M gone or triangle. We don't want to mess up with the topology or the form of the model. Then go to the object mode and hit the control 2 and add the sub modifier and shade smooth it. Now select this edge loop and control B, add a bevel on it. Add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one. I will keep here N gone. So I'm going to dissolve these triangles. Then select everything, mesh, symmetrize. Take the symmetry and there you go. You are getting this kind of design. Then select this bottom edge loop and add a bevel on it. With the control B, add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one. Then select the center edge loop and add a bevel on it. Add two segment bevel and give the small bevel width. Then select this face loop and extrude it along the normal in this way. Then select this edge loop and add bevel on them. Now I'm getting the harder edge at there. Then select these words and merge them at the center. And then dissolve this edge loop. Then select this edge loop and press Alt S and scale it along the normal in this way. That will inside. Then add one loop cut here and add one loop cut here. So I'm getting this kind of cavity design. Then add one loop cut like this. And then here you need to select the face loops. And then turn on the extra mode and deselect these faces. Here also deselect some faces like this and scale it along the Z axis. S, Z and give the value 0. So you can get this kind of design. After that add new loop cuts at here. And press Alt S to scale it along the normal. And add new loop cuts like this. And select them and use the set flow in this way. Now go to the edit mode and select these faces like this and see the vertex count 16 so shift a mesh and add a 16 word cylinder at there scale it down and rotate it into small angle then select both the objects and use the boolean operation union then apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object now take the symmetry and delete one half of the model then here select these words and press m merge at last Select these words and press J to connect them. Then adjust the position of the words to maintain good even distance in between the edge loops so we can get good form. Then select these edges and adjust their position with the double tap G. Then hit the control 2 to add the sub modifier because I have deleted that. Then select everything, mesh, symmetrize. Then select this top face and scale it down like this. And then you can select these edge loops and control B add bevel on them in this way. Then shade smooth it. Now you can see we are getting this kind of design. Now go to the edit mode. Now select these faces and increase the selection. Check the vertex count which is 16. Snap 3D cursor to it and shift A mesh add a cylinder and add a 16 word cylinder at there like this. 
adjusted scale and adjusted position and use the knife tool and create a cut like this just to maintain good distance and then select these words and press M merge at last in this way then dissolve this edge then select everything mesh and symmetrize take the symmetry now select both the objects and use the boolean operation union and make sure your boolean modifier should be top of the sub modifier then apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object now we need to create a good topology for it so select these words and press M merge at the center then select these words and press J to connect them try to create a good loop structure around that boolean part so which is very simple and then take the symmetry like this you can see now this edge is not straight so use the knife tool and create a cut like this and then select these words and merge the words in this way to maintain that straight cut that slope cut like this now you can see then one more time to take the symmetry and then select this edge loop and add bevel on it like this then dissolve this edge loop and create a new cut add there with the knife tool then select this top face and add bevel on it and then select this face use the insert operation and extrude inside like this then select this edge loops and add bevel on them add one segment bevel and then select this edge loops and control b and add a bevel on them, add two segment bevel with the shape factor one. Same thing from the inner side also. Then delete this face, select the edge loop and grid fill. Then add one loop cut right here and then share smooth it. Now you can see we are getting this kind of design which is looking really well. Select everything mesh symmetrize. Then go to the edit mode and select this face and use the insert operation add there. And then extrude it along the normal z axis like this. And one more time, extrude it and rotate it. And then adjust the position and scale it down. And then scale it down like this. And this edge loop also. And just try to create that nozzle design. Then select this face and delete it. Then select this edge loop and add a bevel on it. Add four segment bevel and shape factor should be 0.5. Then select this face loops in this way. And then shift D to duplicate it and press Alt S to scale it down along the normal. And then you can select this edges and bridge edge loop. Select everything and press Alt N to recalculate the normal. Then select this edges and add a bevel on them. Add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one. Add few loop cuts right here from the inner side as well as from the outer side like this. Then select this edge loop and Ctrl B add a bevel on it. There you go. In this way, you can create this kind of design, which is very simple and easy. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See so next video. Take care.